Generic greetings, and welcome to Poor Life Choices the Game. Don't you hate it when you head off to the shops to get a nice delicious beverage? Incidentally, today's incarceration beverage is... A strawberry milkshake, and you forget money, so you think, well, I'm not going to put it back. I can't go home without beverage, so you, uh, yeah, you, you think stealing it is a is a, um, a fine choice. And no, it's not, it's not. We are now in prison, so uh, I wouldn't recommend that. This is The Escapist 2, a game where you escape from prison. Obviously, the sequel to The Escapist. So I featured that several times on the channel. In fact, when it comes to prison escaping, I have previous, so I thought we'd do a little bit of a series on this. The objective is very simple. Have some fun and try to escape, so you can either tunnel out, you can dig under the wall, go over the wall, go through the wall, go and um, go into the vents and stuff like that and sneak around and um, do jobs, things like that. I plan on doing this prison in the first couple of episodes. What we'll do is we'll have a look around the prison. I'll show you what the game is like because I don't know what your experience of this game is. I'll explain all the basics and then later on we might go on to some of the more advanced prisons. Uh, one of the things I was very excited for in this game was the multiplayer. You can actually play this thing multiplayer as well in co-op, which is I think is fantastic, although obviously I won't be doing that in the series, but um, I'll definitely be trying this uh, when uh, when I can with other people and friends. So anyway, um, the objective is very simple. You have to escape, and really what you need to do is worry about the time. So you've got different regimes, so every time you get a different, uh, well, basically, along di throughout the day, you'll get different times. It'll say, right, you need to go to have breakfast, you need to work, you need to do your free time, whatever. And in this case, it's breakfast. Now, as soon as you go in the room that it's... Uh, saying you have to go into, like this one here, you get a little green tick, and that means essentially you've done that. So you don't uh, get penalised for then wandering around and doing what I'm doing, which is stealing absolutely everything I can. This is where the game... Uh this is where the sort of meat of the game is. You'll spend a lot of your time rifling through other people's desks to try and steal things that you may want. So, for example, a roll of duct tape. Uh, the reason I want that is, obviously, you need to escape, and in order to escape, you need help and tools. And if I press Q, you can see in our building menu here, there's lots of things to build. Lo a lot more than the original escapists, although I say that I haven't played a lot of the uh, DLC, but certainly the original. Um, so what I'm doing at the moment is going down and seeing what I can nick because I plan on trying to, well, let's put it this way. I know how to escape this prison pretty much in the first day or so, um, and I'll, I'll go through that at some point, but... I want to have a look around the prison first, just to see the other ways of escape and see if we can do it that way. It might be a little bit more interesting. But if we're gonna drag on this, uh, drag on this prison, we'll just do the uh, the easy escape. Which, as I said, I'll uh, tell you later on. Uh, tube of glue there, which is quite useful. I'm trying to get a lot of items because I what I really need to do, ideally, is get something for a pair of shears. In fact, uh, there is uh, nothing there. There's a soap. There's soap there, and there's some socks back over there, uh, back uh, in the other place. So I can uh, probably make a sock mace. But what I'm gonna do at the moment is uh, start reading. You have three different skills to train. It's intellect, stamina, and strength. And those do different things. The high intellect, the more things you can craft, or the higher level stuff you can craft. And then your strength, uh, I think, changes the amount of damage you do, and perhaps the amount of uh, health you lose when you get hit, but I'm not too sure about that bit. And the... The stamina is how much stamina you lose over time or how much you recover. It's one of the two. I can't really remember. But either way, higher is better on these skills. And as long as I've got over uh, a certain amount of intellect, which I now have, I can uh, crack the level 40 item, which is there. So 40 plus items. What I'm trying to make ideally is a pair of flimsy cutters, which requires a roll of duct tape and two, um, two saws. Uh, what's in here, actually? This is a room I've not been in. Um, and I'm just thinking, is there a vent here? There is a vent. Hang on, if I pick this up then. Uh, can I pick that up? I can't pick that up. Uh, I'm trying to see what I can... Oh, that's... Is that down? No, it's not. No, it's down. This here, um, there's something in there. So what I'm going to do is go over to this uh, map here and you open your mini map and press M as well to do the same thing. But I'm going to go to the first floor vent and you can see a vent path. Ah, so there's vents that go from here all the way around into there and there. Okay, so there and there. Now, I don't really want to go into the guard room. You can see there's a red thing around it, which means if we go in there, they're going to be very, very annoyed, although the door is red, so I need a red key card to get in, so that's not going to happen either. Um, but anyway, what I'll do is I'll uh, just have a quick loot around here, see what we can find. Actually, what I'm going to do more importantly now is uh, start looting everybody's bed sheets. and the reason you do that is obviously the front of your cell is covered in bars. Well, it is bars, that's what it is, and this guy's uh, searching. Is he searching? 
Yeah, Officer Morris is searching myself for some reason. Oh, well. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is place these sheets over there, which is in no way suspicious whatsoever, and it means that they can't see directly in. So that's useful for um, future things. Oh, God, we not only picked up that guy's sheep, but we also jumped on the bed. <laughs> oh, good grief. Uh, obviously, if you've played the Escapist 1, you'll get this game pretty much immediately. It has improved in pretty much every respect from the first one, which I'm uh, happy to say. Uh, it's still got the Escapist... Uh, I wouldn't say issues, but it's still got its um, way of doing things, so you will spend a lot of time doing a lot of uh, repetitive tasks like searching things, uh, and a lot of the a lot of the jobs that you do will be either beat someone up or steal something, and that's pretty much how it goes. But anyway, that uh, is what it is what it is, and that's a really weird error. I've got a white box around what I'm supposed to eat. That is weird. It's probably because I'm... Yeah, that's really weird. I don't know what's happening there. That is... Uh, that is a bit of a glitch. <laughs> it should be noted I am playing this about three or four days before release. So I am running the press build. So uh, there might be a couple of glitches here and there. Anyway, I'm just having a run around. And uh, what I want to do is I want to go upstairs, which is where I am now. There's now multiple floors in it, which I think is a nice, ch nice touch. Um, I'm going to go over to the jobs area. and Because I know it's going to say work time any second. And I want to make sure I'm uh, there quickly so I can get on with other tasks. I want to get a job. So these are the jobs here. Let me just go inside the job room. That's now a green tick, so we're not going to get shouted at for not going there. Uh, the shoemaking, mail sorting, waste disposal, and printing. And they're all in red, so I can't do them, but I believe most of them are filled apart from waste disposal. Yeah, waste disposal is not filled, but you need 30 intelligence and 60 strength. So we're going to have to level up our strength, so that's what we'll do now by doing a little mini game in here. So let's just do our mini game of mashing Q and E to get repetitive strain injury. And there we go. Carpal tunnel has been achieved. Now we need to keep mashing that. Get a bit of the old track field on the go and uh, there we go it'll probably be easy with a pad incidentally this game I believe is pretty much built with a gamepad in mind I'm running mouse and keyboard and it does seem to work well uh, but for the more you can tell that um, the way like where the way you talk to people is you have to be within proximity and you have to have like a uh, you have to sort of face them and such whereas if it was just mouse you would just sort of mouse over them and do that way so it has been built with their uh, with a pad in mind it doesn't really I don't think that's any problem it's just you have to get a you have to get used to um, the way it works sometimes and um, you know it can be a little bit problematic when especially if you're in the kitchen or if you're in um, is that yeah that's Martin Littlewood there you go uh, yeah if you um, if you if you have to talk to people in the kitchen or when they're all together, it can be very problematic <laughs> because there's loads of people around. Uh, I think that's another YouTuber on the right there. I think that's Jack Septic Guy. I'm pretty sure there's a couple of YouTubers that are uh, placed in this game. No Generixon. This, I mean, this this character is Generixon, but uh, you know, it's not gonna uh, it's not gonna be in game probably. Anyway, it uh, looks like Martin actually has a quest. So what does he say? I can't do this. Uh, I can do this. I can do this. Oh, hello there. Sorry, I was just talking to myself. I need some errands running. Thank you. Could help me out here. I will accept because he's paying twenty-five, and I need to deliver a chocolate bar to Jack Septic Guy. Oh, good grief! Why is it like the YouTube's Hall of Fame thing going on here? Anyway, so I need to deliver the chocolate bar. I will do that at some point. Um, I'm just gonna do a bit of. Uh bit of the old lifty weighty and uh, get my gains in because you know you have to somehow and uh, what we'll do is do this until we've got 60 60 strength and then um, we'll go and get that job uh, I really despise games with like a with like a, a loss where like a, if you don't work out for like every 10 minutes then you lose part of your strength which it really really bugs me but uh, this game does not have that which is good I don't know if it uh, has in like later levels I don't think so I don't think it's a staple of the game which is well thank god because <laughs> I don't like it whatsoever but uh, yeah there's a reason why you'd want your stats up I mean I've got a, I've had a character which is all 100 so yeah there is achievements for that as well um, just to point out, if you don't go to the rooms that they request that you go to, for a start, if any guard see you, sees you elsewhere, um, then what will happen is they will shout at you and your heat will rise up. And if that gets too high, then they could shout at you, they could tell you to do certain things. It's um, problematic at times. Uh, I'm just going to wait for uh, Jack to get off this. Um, actually, oh, there we go. He's now, I've now given that. Uh, so, in fact, I'll show you what happens. So, I'm just going to keep working out because I've already, I've already been to the shower. So, if anyone sees me, my heat will go 
go up. But also, if I completely miss the shower time, then an overall prison um, alert status goes up as well. And that means that, well, at the lower levels, it doesn't really mean much. But if, for example, you damage a bit of wall and someone sees it, it goes up like one and a half stars. If it goes too high, then they will start doing uh, shakedowns. And then you will, if it gets to the top level, like, for example, if you knock a guard out and get a key, then it will be a lockdown state and you have to go back to your cell and then they'll search everything the dogs will come out so yeah that can be an issue um one of the things as well is that oh i should be able to get this job now because i'm on 60 so we'll go and there we go waste disposal apply for the job job done well it's not job done it's job accepted so uh, let's just have a quick look in here and see what we can uh, find in this area hang on have a quick open up and talc, screwdriver, yeah, screwdrivers, weapons and tools. I mean, I can pick this up and can I, can I use it to try and open the vent? I can try and do it to open the vent. So yeah, there you go. Look, I'm uh, unscrewing the vent. Best way of doing it is just to unscrew it with a screwdriver. You can use files and shears, but uh, it looks like this is the best way of going about it. And the reason you would do that is because, well, you can go inside and then you can have a look around. So I can go down here, for example. Um, I'll just use this and go down. <laughs> I like the way the sounds a bit more echoey when you're in the vents. That's quite a nice touch. Keep going here, and then we'll drop down. And the reason we're going to do this is because it. Um, I can't carry more items. You don't can you carry any more items, mate. You just need to. Do, why? Why is it glitching out? Oh, because oh, I've got the vent cover, of course. So I can actually place the vent cover back on. So there you go. Place the vent cover back on. Excellent. And it's on. It says ten percent. But uh, hang on. Get that. And then we'll open this up. And then we'll drop down, and then we can open this desk. And you see security levels increase because I didn't do what I was supposed to do. I'm going to place this vent cover in there, and then the glue, and I'm going to pick up the radio and this um, sheet, and I'm going to quickly head out. Here's the thing, though. Why did I need to go through there? Well, I didn't. This should be probably be marked with red, because this is like where the production company is. There's a couple of people who are um, going around. In fact, they are here. So there's Cameron Mann, there is Mike Rawphorn, and there's Huey Lacroix, which I'm sure... I'm sh is that supposed to be uh, Louis Theroux? I'm guessing so. Anyway, yeah, so at the end of the day, you don't really need to do them uh, vents and stuff. You can just do it another way. So, yeah, I'm going to uh, have a quick look in my desk. We've got a couple of things. We've got duct tape. I'm going to put them in there. These are red, so these are um, contraband. So if they find them, they will take it off me. And the uh, guys... Oh, I thought that guy was going to come in there. We'll put the radio in there and the civilian outfit. And we've still got the uh, screwdrivers, which are, incidentally, I say contraband as well. But you can do pretty much anything you want with these. Uh, you can un unscrew loads of vents and have a look around. Um, do we want to do that? Mm, I'm not too sure. Uh, what's this guy want? Docs. Uh, he might strum it going, I need a bottle of milk. I will accept that because if I come across a bottle of milk, I will be able to get it. Actually, I need to go... Apparently there's a quest up here. See, this map, it actually shows you where the, uh, the quests are. So we've got this bit here. And apparently a bottle of milk will be in here. And this guy here, look, as soon as I go in, he goes, Hey, what are you doing in there? Um, I'm actually stealing a bottle of milk, mate. What does it look like? <laughs> the guards are pretty lax around here. One thing to say about this game that, uh, over the other one is that the, the prison feels a lot more alive than... Uh, hang on, it's supposed to be here. Where is he? Is he upstairs? Oh, he is upstairs, yes. Uh, you. He's coming downstairs. There we go. That's done. Uh, looks like someone's getting punched. Um, why is that? Mm. Oh well. Yeah, it feels a lot more live. There's uh, a lot more guard patrols. There's a lot more um, other staff as well. So you get staff that are like cleaning, and you get ones that are like, if you get knocked out, it doesn't just go to black screen and then take you somewhere. You actually get a, um, you actually get like a, um, a, a paramedic come along and uh, like pick you up and take you to the to the infirmary and all of that sort of thing. Like if we stay here, see the person on the ground, um, what will happen is someone will come along. Why is Jack Scepter guy running around going to punch people? Um, there we go. And he's going to pick that person up and run away. Yeah. So, yes, it's, uh, it does feel a lot more alive. It's just, a, it's just you know, taking everything the original and just, you know, made it as a sequel and more things, which is cool. Like I say, but I think multiplayer is the biggest uh, advancement. Playing co-op is going to be uh, quite interesting. Anyway, so I'm just trying to level up my intellect. I'm trying to try and get my intellect up to... I would like to get it to 60 before the end of the day, because that allows me to make a certain item that I don't think I've got the... I don't think I've got the stuff for. I think you need a radio, you need a roll of duct tape, and finally you need... What is it you need? Um... 
I'm pretty sure it's like a... I think you might just need a broom. The way to escape, I, I said I was going to mention it, um, the way to escape is to sneak out the front door. Actually, just walk out the front door. You have a pair of civilian clothes and you have a fake boom mic. And you pretend to be one of the camera crew and you just wander out. And that's the way to escape from this one. Obviously, you can do all the other stuff like tunneling out and cutting through the wire and uh, going onto the roof and things like that. Which, you know, is possible. But uh, one of the downsides of this game is that it's very, very grindy. Like, you know, you'll still... And that's like the same with the original. You'll have to go around and um, get loads of resources. And, you know, you could spend a couple of hours, perhaps, uh, getting all of this gear. And if you mess up once, just once then you're going to get punished for it. And all of your stuff's going to go. They'll search you, you, they'll search your cell. Unless you stash it somewhere, but even then, depending on where you stash it, it can either be nicked by other people, or the uh, guards could find it, or even worse, it's happened to me several times on the first one, your stash might be in the vents, and then if they find whatever vent or whatever that you've stashed in, they'll lock them all up. So all of your gear, all of the gear instantly you need to get in and out that vent, will be inside a locked vent. So you have to find all the gear to go back in, and... But it is what it is. I guess that's. I guess the whole punishment, you know, it has to be quite harsh because if it's not, then it wouldn't really be a prison, would it? Anyway, hi, look, I'm here. I'm here for roll call. I'm going to stand here. Actually, that's Jack Sector guy, and I'll probably be like, "Hey, what's up with that? Oh God, oh, 20 decibels in me. I'm going to stand over here. Yeah, it's a, it's it's like standing next to a motorhead concert next to that guy. So I'm just going to come here. Right, uh, let's have a talk to delivery driver. Uh, what does this guy want? Uh, I don't know, too much words to find. Um, this guy, my desk was due a shakedown, so I hit a can of soda. The problem is I can't remember where, so I'll accept it. And even though I've accepted it and you can't remember where, I know exactly where it is. It's over in that corner. <laughs> because of, yeah, that's how it is. So we will go back in my cell, and what will happen now is, essentially, it's end of day. What I'm going to do, though, um, I'm going to pick this up, and I'm going to place it down here. Because, yes, I can go in this vent. And then I want to have a little walk around to see what we can find. So this is going to be my stash. My stash for everything. So I've got a couple of screwdrivers. So we'll just unscrew the vent. And obviously the good part is that you do get a vent off it. Whereas if you saw it off, you have to make a vent, which is um, never good. So I'm now inside these vents. And you can see where we can get to, which is pretty much all over the place. We can come down here, around these. Uh, it looks like all of the cells are connected up. But... But... Importantly, it doesn't really drop us anywhere that's useful, I don't think. I just want to go inside. Oh, we could go up here. Is this an up? This might be an up. Yes, this is an up. So, should we have a look? I think this might be the... This might be the gym. Hang on. Floor 2. It's the gym. Right. So, going into the gym, will that help us? Uh, I don't think so. What I'll do, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. I'll come back down. Right, now here's, here's the thing, right? If you saw the vents open, uh, what happens is... Let me just place that vent cover back on. Okay, vents on, right, okay. Uh, if you saw the vent open, then it gets damaged. But because I've used the... Because I've used the screwdriver... Is that classed as a damaged item? Because if the if someone finds that damaged item, it will go up. So I don't know. I'm not too sure what'll happen there. Anyway, um, that guy's asking for a tube of toothpaste, so I might as well accept that. Just going around to see what other things people want. Um, this is where it's problematic to talk to different people. It's it, once you get used to it, it's not too bad though. Find some instruments. No. Um, this guy wants a medic outfit. There's no way I'm getting that. Plant this soil on their desk. I'll accept that. That's going to be an easy one. Um, did you actually give me soil? Yes, they did. Okay, so I just need to put them in their desk. A lot of these quests are fairly redundant as well. Like you don't, you don't need necessarily to. Why, why, why is someone else wanting to do it? I don't know. Either way, I've just put that in the desk and job done. Um, on oh, his desk search as well. Whose desk search? Uh, not me. Let me just go in here, and then it's classed. Yeah, straight away, breakfast done. And other quests. So we'll go up here, and lost property is going to be in this corner. Yeah. So fairly simple tasks, these one. 
Also, the, the task can be a bit glitchy at times. Like, I've had someone where it says, get me this, that, and the other, and you give it to them, and the, then they give you another quest rather than... Uh, rather than accepting that one. Why has that guy got a star above his head? I don't know. Anyway, it looks like some... Good grief, this guard's getting knocked out. Uh, I'm just going to loot them and see what's happening. No. Right, so I need to hand this over to Pip, and luckily Pip's right there. There you go. No problem, Pip. And we've got another quest to do. Uh, next, it's going to be... Good grief, look at the fighting. Uh, you can do like a charge-up attack like this, and when you let go, it sort of like punches down. Um, oh, hang on. Why is that gone up to level 3? I do not know. Have we had a breakout? Where's this quest? Ah! Ah! I think they're in solitary. Yes! Guard room. The quest is in the guard room. Or at least that's the... How am I supposed to get that? Um... Well, I can't go through here because I've got a contraband. They'll see it. Okay. That's not good. Ah, yeah. Security level increased because of damage the prison was found. Right. Hang on, then. Let me quickly get to my... Uh-oh. 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 Yeah, this is... Yeah. I'm guessing... Um, I'm guessing the found the found the stuff in my cell um well we're gonna leave it there uh, <laughs> we've had pretty much everything in this episode we've had stealing stuff we've seen fighting we've uh, yeah we've put it on lockdown on day one this is not good either way next episode we will probably try and escape a much more sensible way instead of trying to tunnel out um we will, yeah, we'll almost certainly uh, just try and walk out the front door. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.